Alrighty, Lumberjacks, welcome back to another Logging from Scratch episode. Uh, so last time we were playing, we had just done uh, a quick shot down the hill with another load here. So I'm just going to do a really quick unload of this guy. And then we need to... Oops, I guess i got to unlock it first. Um, I'll just go in here and do this. Um, then we need to go up the hill, grab that forestry grinder... And try to bring it over there to the yarder situation. So now we got a mixed sizes here. We got some eights on the top. Oh man, those are heavy. So we got some eights on the top. And we got some sixes on the bottom. Or six and a halfs on the bottom. So we get kind of a mixed bag of sizing here while we're unloading. But at least they're not that crazy different from one another. Should be alright. Uh, oops. So I can learn how to unload here. There we go. Beauty. Drop these in here. Looking good so far. Oh, I love unloading with this thing. Especially when you get to these like little little pieces. I don't know. It just looks so cool. It's just satisfying. Playing pickup sticks. I wonder what it is about the human mind that finds collecting perfect piles so satisfying. It's like OCD kind of. <laughs> so strange. But you know what? We're having fun, so let's uh, let's just give it right. That's the name of the game. Just give her. Okay. Grab a couple more sticks. Oh, we're kind of parked a little close here, so I'm going to try to massage the grapple down there. Beauty. Now, last time I was talking about um, possibly adding some kind of a headache rack to the front of uh, this thing, so when we're loading, we don't push it too far into the, the top. So I might look at that. I haven't done anything with it yet, but I'm thinking it uh, might happen before release. Oh, I missed one. All that work and I missed one stick. Brutal. Let's see if I can just grab it from back here. Give it a little whip out there. And it should be about the middle. Oh, except for when they glitch ahead like that. That's weird. Ah, <laughs> uh, physics. Can't be perfect. Alright, let's see how much is that worth. I'm going to guess a little more. I'm going to guess probably around 66000 What do you guys think? Take a guess. Here we go. Oh, man. Not even. 49199 49000 Almost 200 That's not very much. I thought it would be more. I wonder if the 8s are worth more then. Than the 6.5s. I don't know. Questionable. Questionable. Okay, so now we get the really fun job of trying to get that damn forestry grinder into this grapple. I don't know how this is going to go, and I doubt it's going to go well, but we're going to try to see what we can pull off. Should be pretty fun. We will see. Sneak our little butts up the hill here. I was trying to think of, like, ways I could grab it. I think I should be able to grab it in the middle. But I don't think it's a lockable object, so I can't, like, throw it in the frame and lock it. I'll just have to kind of really carefully drag it behind us or in front of us or something. I think it'll be hilariously entertaining to see what happens. I think this thing is motoring up the mountain 60 kilometers an hour. I don't know how realistic that is, but... <laughs> Get her done, right? And it's stable. That's the important part. It's nice and stable. A little bit of ricketiness, but it's uh, at least it's not jumping all over the road, bouncing off into the woods. That's the important part. All right, here we go. So this is the forestry grinder over here. Now, I don't know, man. This is going to be a little tricky. Uh, or maybe it'll be, like, really easy. I kind of doubt it, though. Oh, God. This is not going to be fun. Okay. Oh. The collisions on it are so weird. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, so let's put it up here. 
Do you think it'll stay there while we drive, though? That's the that's the real question. Oh, that's good. Good visibility here. Solid visibility. Oh, no. Oh, God. This is probably not the best way to transport anything, but hey, this is how we're doing it, so it's all good. I wish somebody would make a winchable point, and then I would just build, like, a little crane car or something, but... Oh. Oh, God. Oh, we lost it. Let's see. Can we do that again? That's a really hard object to pick up. There we go. Oh, no. This thing was not built to be picked up by a grapple, clearly. See, if it had a bar there, at least I could kind of get it through there. I might go back and redo the physics so that we can do stuff like this. Make everything have a point to pick it up so we can use this thing to transport it. Oh, that'd be smart, wouldn't it? We should do that. Just put like a little crane bar on it. This is good. This is why we do things like this so that we can fix it for the future. Oh man, I just want to get it over there. We're not that far. We're so close. Probably by the time I get this attached, we'll, it would have been faster to just walk over with the other machine. Oh, there we go. Here we go. Hang in there, buddy. We got it. No. <laughs> this will be the whole episode, just us trying to get this over there. Totally worth it. What if I grab it, like, in here somewhere? Is there anything in here that's grabbable? Not really, hey? You can just push it along. I'll try to steer and drive at the same time and push it. This will be a, a total pat your head while you rub your tummy kind of thing. But yeah, no, you know what I, you guys know what I mean though, like by if I put like a little grab bar, then you could just hang it from it and it wouldn't be able to escape. And I'll just keep doing this. Oops, here, let's go this way. This thing's heavy. We're so close to the processor. I should just walk the processor over here, but I'm kind of determined now, so... Can I just push it with the truck? Oh, there you go. There we go. I'll just add a chipper attachment to the front of the truck. <laughs> just kidding, I'm not doing that. Don't even ask, because it's not going to happen. There we go. Oh. Oh, darn. Watch, I'll get stuck and like shoot it off the cliff, and then it'll all be gone. Okay, here we go. Ten and two. But yes, a grab bar. That's something that's going to happen. I'm going to build those. Every machine's going to have one, or every attachment. Grapples don't really need them because they basically are a grab bar when you buy them. They just sit on the ground so you can just pick them up and put them on there. Uh, that's pretty close. Here, I'm just going to turn around and then drive the processor over and grab it. Let's just go like this. Doot. There we go. Now we're making fire with water. Perfect. Okay. Let's, uh, oops. There we go. Let's grab this guy. At least we can chip now. Thank God. We don't have to make piles of chips all over the place. Because I think we're going to start hitting some, per per oops, some uh, performance issues here pretty quick. If we keep up this... God, that was like half the video, just trying to get that from like 20 feet. But Grant, walking this all the way to the landing and back, probably would have taken longer, to be honest. So, I think we're still in the wind. There we go. Attached and ready to party. Of that grinding, I don't know. It's hard to get good pictures of grinding situation. Grind it up. Oh, there we go. The ground's just a touch uneven here, so it's a bit of a nightmare. Nice. Destroyed it. 
I don't think I even need to really lower it. Hey, it just kind of destroys things. So I was thinking I should do on these is actually adjust the, uh, the tip point so that doesn't go like right to the ground to hit it. You can just. I mean, it only needs to be like a couple inches lower than where it is right now to grind stuff, right? All right, so I'm just gonna park this back over in here. So we got room to do our yard in. Beauty. All right, let's do another couple grabs here. Fish them out. So what's our next group? Probably this one. Let's go with this group. There we go. And luckily we're nice and close so we don't have to really tab if we don't want to. Tab to 20 million different machines. Oh, I love this thing's weight now. I can actually pull logs up worth of crap. And let's... I'm actually going to leave them attached again so they don't ride away on us like last time. Now, which one is the main point? I think it's that one right there. So don't cut the main one, you shit. And I'm just going to leave the chipper on here for now, I guess. Or actually, you know what we could do? We could put the chipper on the ground right here. I'm just, okay, I'm trying to think in my head what I want to do here. So, I can use the yarder as a chipper too. I just remembered that. So, I'm going to actually park this on the hill. And then, once we get a big enough pile uh, of chips laying over there, I can literally just turn around. I can literally just turn around, grab that chipper head, and just eat them all up. And nobody's the wiser. Ideal situation. Okay, so this one is not the main one. So let's cut this one first. And we'll just pile them right here. Bloop. Now, we realized it does take quite a few of these to fill up that bunk, so I don't think we... Uh, I don't think we should uh, bring that truck over here right away. Get a few loads in here before we do that. Let's just kind of bring this this way. And I want this one. Whoop. There we go. Whoop. Oh, sneaking away on us, eh? Oh, that's why we kept them attached, because then if not, we'd have to run back down the hill and go get them all. There we go. Let's put a little tension on them. Just a teeny, teeny bit. No, we don't want to get that one, because if we cut that one, they'll all fall off. And that is not ideal. Perfect. And we'll grab. Uh, in this case, we can do this one because that little guy is not going to go anywhere. It's just when they're bigger trees, the bigger ones like to roll back down the hill on us. And we don't like that. Beauty. Little bits. See if we can go like this and just, oops, just cinch these up a little bit. Beauty. That's cool. Okay, let's uh, grab one more here. Oops, we're facing the wrong way. Make sure your head's pointing the right way, otherwise your logs are going to go over the place. We don't want that. Oh, these kind of went all over the place, didn't they? 
You know what? We'll grab one in the middle, and then we'll just get them all. <laughs> It'll be a messy grab, but they'll go. We'll get them. And we're going to get all these two. Two piles, one shot. Here we go. The Yarder may not like that so much, but we'll see. And it looks cool, hey? I love that. Yarding from the top. All right, let's see what happens here. Oh, it's heavy load. <laughs> They're coming, though. Heavy load, though. I think it's smaller trees. That's the only reason it's even allowing me to do this. I'll just put a little tension on them, not a lot. Just so they don't wander off. So that's the main one, hey? Alright. see if we can not hit that one if we can. Remind me to park my yarder in a better spot, too. So my yarder's in kind of a... Kind of a crappy location. Let's throw a few of these out. And we'll go here. Oop. Drop it down here. And, you know, we'll just keep piling them until we, uh, we hit the sky, basically. <laughs> so many. Good. And whoops, there we go. Beautiful. Sorry, I'm like extremely focused on this because I'm like watching them as I hit them and see where they roll. <laughs> I'm like, wait, where's that one going? Makes it hard to talk sometimes. That's kind of why sometimes on the time lapses I uh, can focus a little bit better because I'm not paying attention to commentary. But sometimes even in single player I'm playing and I'm just like, oh man, I really get paying attention to something and then I forget. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to talk. Forget that. But you know, that's why you got to be careful while you're operating do a proper job and stuff. I'm actually going to get this little bugger right here. Get it? Oh, we got it. That was close. Danger close. This one's just kind of going where it feels like here. Uh, I'm actually going to snip this one now because we got the, it's the last big tree. And then the other ones are just the little, the little pencil trees. the rest of this up and I think we'll be pretty much at the end of this one. Oh man, we're almost at the end of this one. Holy! I swear, it felt like we just started. Once I get logging, especially like, I'm so used to the time lapses when I'm doing those that I'm just like, oh yeah, still got hours and hours to go. And then it's like, oh, my 20 minutes is up here. But it's funny, I was looking at, uh, I was checking with the new YouTube stuff, you can see the analytics a little bit better. And uh, even 20 minute videos are like way too long. There's only there's only 15% of you still watching this video by the f what I think it's by the 9 minute mark, 15%, which is horrible horrible uh retention, but I just find it funny. I'm just like, man. And I thought 20 minute videos were like really short. You need like 5 minute videos. That's pretty much how life is these days. 
Five minutes of paradise. Oh, there we go. Push all that back up there. We don't want to push it too far, though, because then we're going to block off our, our route to our wood chipper there. All right. So let's park this guy back over here. Do a little twist and shout here. Now we'll park this guy right here. Perfect. And this guy's still just making noises, so shut it off. Um, yeah, so uh, pretty much that's about as far as we're going to get today. Still got a couple grabs down there. Uh, and then we're going to continue on our road, maybe do some more falling on that edge. And just kind of keep pounding through it. I think it'll be pretty fun. I'm going to keep this landing for a ways until we clean up a good portion of that. Then maybe we'll build a further landing down there to kind of cut into the hill. We'll see how it goes. It's fun to just kind of move as you move. So, uh, yeah, anyway, if you guys liked the video, leave a like, leave a comment. Do not forget to subscribe. And if you're in the bush, don't forget to hug a tree. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll catch you on the next one. See ya.